Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Wusu, and what I do here is share with you my recipes, my home decor, and my DIY project ideas. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I preserve garlic. Preserving my garlic saves me a lot of money and time. Many of us go to the grocery stores and bring home garlic, and these garlic sit in our spice baskets. We don't use them as fast as we want to, and before we know it, garlic dries up or is rotted. We end up running back to the store to get more garlic. So the best way to keep your garlic and use them when you need them is to preserve them. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video today. Garlic is an herb and it's in a family of onions and leeks. And I believe garlic has some medicinal properties and can be used for health issues. This video today is mainly to show you how you can preserve garlic to use at home for seasoning your food and for many other recipes that you might use around your house. Today, we're only going to be using three ingredients. The garlic, I'm gonna be using the olive oil, and I'll also be using water. Those are the three ingredients that we're gonna be using for the purpose of this recipe and this video. As you can see here, I've already plucked some of the garlic and the cloves are all lying here. So basically what you're going to do is just pluck the garlic, make sure you have the individual cloves taken apart. And also just to let you know that I'm not measuring anything. I'm eyeballing everything because for a recipe like this, you know, I think just eyeballing it will help. It's up to you, the quantity you want to make and how much garlic you have will be based on how much you make or how much you make will be based on how much garlic you bought or have at home. So for the purpose of this recipe, we're going to be making the garlic, we're going to preserve the whole, the whole cloves and we're going to make the crushed garlic with olive oil, which you can also use to make your garlic bread. And we can also use the juice from the whole cloves. After you've processed the whole cloves, you can use that juice to also season other types of food, like fish, or if you're cooking greens and you don't have the whole cloves where you have the, the, the juice from the, from the garlic, you can actually use that juice in your, in your pot and it seasons as well as the whole clove garlic. So here we're going to just pull all of the cloves off apart. Pull all of the cloves apart. And I can imagine your house is just gonna smell like garlic all day when you're doing this. Because you know, garlic has a very strong smell. And yeah, anywhere there's garlic, everybody knows that there's garlic. So there's no way you can go around that. Garlic is what it is, garlic. The scent gives it up. And also, I forgot to tell you that I'll be using the mason jars. I'm gonna be using the two cup mason jar in this recipe. One, um, I think this is the one and a half cup or the three fourth cup mason jar, but it's a mason jar. <laughs> and I have, a, I have two other jars here just in case we have an overflow and might need to use a couple of other jars, but you can use a larger mason jar or 
this size or any size you want. It's up to you how many garlic, how much garlic you have and exactly what you want to do. You know, like I said, there's no reading from a recipe, although I'm going to have the process like, like a recipe on my website. All of the recipes here that I, that I share with you are also posted on my website and I would go, I will show you the process step by step on my website. So we're going to take a break and when I get back, I would have taken off all the garlic. I will have, you know, pulled all the cloves apart and I will show you how I'm going to peel them and also follow the next step into how we're going to put everything together and begin to process our garlic. So stay tuned and we'll be back. So I went ahead and peeled almost all of the garlic, all of the cloves, because it took me a while and I thought that, you know, to save time, I would just go ahead and just peel almost all of them. There are just a few left and there's no real method to how you peel your garlic. You know, some people just twist it and the skin begins to roll off. And at times, if the garlic is a little big enough, you can actually use the um, a knife and just sort of press it over the garlic and you will hear a crackling sound, meaning the skin is breaking off and then you can just pull the skin off. But another way to get help with this is that if you have kids at home, you can ask the kids to come and join you. And it might be a fun project, you know, as long as they can stand the scent of the garlic, it could definitely be a fun project for the kids. Yeah, so peeling garlic takes a little while, but um, the benefit is good because uh, you don't have to go out to the store to buy garlic all the time. Once you have your garlic at home, there are so many ways you can use garlic in your recipes, in your, your meals, you know, and it's just, awesome you know so garlic is is universal i mean i love garlic you know i put i use garlic in many of my recipes you know when i'm cooking my stews greens i always have garlic around there are even bread recipes that i have where i use garlic in my bread you know and when you're making sandwiches you know like tuna sandwiches you can definitely use garlic in your sandwich, in your sandwich bread, not a sandwich, a sandwich bread. Um, yeah, so it never hurts to have uh, your garlic preserved and kept in your refrigerator. As with other vegetables, herbs, and um, fruits, you can also preserve them to save you time. You don't have to worry about running out of the store every time you need to to cook and you need garlic, all you have to do is open your fridge. And if it's serving you well in terms of preserving your garlic, all you have to do is replenish your stock whenever the garlic runs low. That's what I do. That's what I do. And as I mentioned before, the liquid from the garlic that you're gonna to use to preserve the garlic is great. You can use that liquid to season your food. I use it to season my fish. And sometimes when I'm cooking stews, I use the liquid to season my stew. I don't bother with the, the clove. I just use the liquid. Even when you use all of the cloves, when you don't have any more cloves left in the jar, you have the juice in the jar or the liquid in the jar, you can actually use that liquid, you know, for other for your for your soup, your your stews and your greens, you know, season your fish, your meat. Yeah, so it's awesome when you have your vegetables, herbs, and fruits preserved, preserved can actually save you time, you know, getting your meals ready when you don't have to run to the store. And like I said before, garlic rots and dries up very quickly. So if you're gonna buy a lot, like me, when I get to the grocery store, when I see garlic, I don't usually pick up one piece. You know, I, I take like a bag, <laughs> a small bag of garlic. And then I found out that when I get home, put it in my spice basket. And if I don't use it, 
you know, in a timely manner, it's all going to get rotted or dried up. So preserving it has saved me the headache of having to run to the store every time I need to use garlic. So I think this is enough. We're just going to get this away from here. And um, we're going to move on to the next step. So the next thing I'm going to do after peeling the garlic, I have water in this bowl. I'm going to put the garlic in the water, make sure I wash the garlic, the cloves. Just give it a nice little rinse, not too much, because the next step will take care of anything that will be left. Just give it a nice little rinse. And then, after that, I have my jars here. They've already been cleaned and prepped. My mason jars. I have two of them. I'm going to use one jar for the whole cloves. And I'll use another jar for the oil. The, 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 the recipe that's going to use the olive oil. So um, in the recipe with the olive oil, it's actually going to be crushed garlic. And as I mentioned before, you can use the crushed garlic and olive oil to, to make your, your garlic bread. You know how you buy the garlic bread from the store? Well, with this one, you can actually use this crushed garlic and olive oil that you're going to make to make your own garlic bread at home. You don't have to buy the store-bought bread. So what I'm doing here is actually, after rinsing, I'm just going to put the whole cloves in this jar, in the larger jar, the, the larger mason jar. That's what I'm doing. Okay? Now, you don't want to bring it all the way to the top. You want to leave a little bit of space, you know, at the, right at the neck of the bottom, from the neck to the top. You don't want to pack any more garlic in there. So for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this small um, food processor. You can use a large one if you have a lot of garlic, but because I'm not going to be using a lot of garlic, I'm just going to put, to use my smaller processor, just for the purpose of these two recipes today. I don't want to make too much because the jar is in big. So let's see. Okay. You can just go and put the rest of it in here. Put the rest of it in there. If we need another jar, I can definitely get another jar to use the crushed garlic because we cannot put any more garlic up in this jar or else the recipe is not going to work <laughs> or you have an overflow. You don't want the jar to be way up there with water. So that's why you have to leave space between the neck and the very top of the jar. So when I come back, we're going to add the water to this, crush this, put it in the jar, and then I'll tell you what the next step is going to be. So just stay tuned and I'll be right back with you. So we're making progress. I went ahead and crushed the garlic in this uh, small blender or food processor and I have the water here that's going to go on this other garlic the whole cloves in the jar and I have here a pot with water in it because all we're going to do is after we've added the oil onto the crushed garlic and added water to this whole clove garlic garlic in the jar we're going to put them in the pot and then boil the jars that will be our next step and the final step to preserving our garlic. So let's go ahead now and put some of the crushed garlic into the jar.
you might not use all of this because it's a whole lot and I don't want to make two of them but if you're making it at home you can actually you can go ahead and make um as many as you want let's see I might be wrong but let's see <laughs> I'm gonna take this off I don't want to make it that sound <laughs> okay so let's see we might be able to get a whole lot in there you know I like to be <laughs> very cautious so I don't overdo it because I don't want you know to unnecessarily have uh, things in there that don't need to be in there yeah so we're going to put the crushed garlic into the jar we're not going to fill it all the way up to the top because in this recipe with the crushed garlic we want more oil in that jar because you can use the oil the, the garlic is going to flavor the oil so you almost have like a you know garlic oil <laughs> yeah there are some whole ones in there too the oil didn't get crushed but that's okay you know oh you see we got everything into that jar i was just a little cautious and not you know yeah so you see we got everything into the jar so what I'm going to do now is add the uh, olive oil. Again, I'm not measuring anything. I'm only eyeballing to see how much olive oil I can get into this jar. So as you see, I'm going to pour the oil. You want to wrap that, that jar a little bit because you want to make sure the oil is going to go all the way to the bottom. So what I'm going to do here to make that process work is to take the spoon and just kind of gently push the, the garlic, the crushed garlic to the side and let the oil go down to the bottom. Yeah, because you see, you want that oil all the way down to the bottom. That oil is going to be very, very flavorful. Garlic oil. So you're going to add a little more oil and repeat the process. Make sure the oil is going all the way down to the bottom. You know, you don't want it sitting just on top. You want that oil to go all the way to the bottom. If you don't like olive oil, you can use your regular cooking oil. But for some reason, I prefer olive oil in this recipe. So you see now the oil is just about at the neck of the jar where I like for the ingredients to stop. I don't like for the ingredients to go all the way to the top of the jar. You want to leave room. Then I'm going to close this up. There's nothing else going into that jar. This is just olive oil and um, garlic. <clears throat> so I'm going to set the jar in the water and then we'll go on to move on to the next one, the whole cloves. All we're gonna do here is add water again, eyeballing, no measurement. We're gonna add the water slowly, slowly, until it comes just at the neck of the bottle. That's where you want the water, right there, at the neck of the, of the jar. And then we're going to close the jar tightly you want to make sure it's tight enough you shake it a little bit and you set that jar in the pot as well the next thing we're going to do is to take this pot put it on the stove and this pot is going to we're going to bring this water to a boil that's how we're going to keep this the the, the, the cloves and the crushed garlic preserved so when we come back I will show you how this is going to be done and that will be concluding how we preserve garlic at home using olive oil and just water. So when we get back, I will hopefully show you how it's going to be boiling and then we'll take, we'll move on from there. So I have the two jars in this pot of water and I have it on the stove to bring the water to a boil. I have the temperature set on medium. And what I'm going to do is allow the water to come to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, 
I'm going to then allow it to rapidly boil for at least another five minutes, rapidly boiling. And the reason for that is to just allow the jars to seal up. So once that is done, I'm going to remove the pot from the stove, from the heat, take out the jars and allow the jars to cool completely. I allow my jars to cool normally. I don't run them on a cold water. Once the jars are cooled completely, you can put the jars into the refrigerator and begin to use your preserved garlic as you desire. So we'll come back to see how everything goes. So a couple of things I forgot to tell you. When you add the water to the pot before putting it on the stove to boil, just add about halfway of water, you know, half pot of water. Because once you put the jars in there, the water is gonna get displaced. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top and then you have the water boiling and spilling over. And another thing is you have to keep the top of the pot on while it's boiling. Then to take the pot out, the, the jars out of the pot, you will need tongs. As you can see, you will need tongs. These are tongs. They're very useful in taking hot jars out of boiling water. And right now, as you can see in here, the jars are boiling. We have just about another minute to go of boiling and we'll come back to see how everything goes. Stay tuned. So there you have it. The jars are now out of the pot and I've set them down to cool. I will allow them to cool completely before putting them into the refrigerator. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and you can also go ahead and try them and try this recipe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already done so, you can also hit the notification button. So whenever I have new items on my channel, you will be the first to know or you get to know immediately. Again, thank you for watching and I will be coming to you soon with another interesting video, either a recipe or something of a home decor or DIY project, whatever it is that makes your home beautiful or gives you a beautiful meal at home, that's what I'm here to share with you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.